Honestly, my parents were completely against me coming here at first. But then when I came home in December, after my first semester here, they read my portfolio and they were so proud of me. Students initially go to New York and Brooklyn for a two-day orientation with their parents and meet the staff, uh, get acquainted, and then travel together to Costa Rica. Yeah, the students are placed in the host family after filling out a questionnaire. Most students tell us that they learn the most in the semester from their host family or from the activities they do because they're speaking Spanish, they're learning about the culture, they interview them about different topics they're studying about in the classes. They're so patient and they're so kind and so accommodating, you know, opening their home to me and they were so welcoming. That's a very safe environment for the students to um, be able to experience the culture in, with a family that knows the area, knows the country. They've been my biggest support system here. If I have a problem at school, if I'm having a bad day, I go home, talk to them, have some coffee, and they just tell me you know, their experiences in life and always make me feel better. So they've been, it's definitely been a highlight and it's going to be hard to leave them. <laughs> it's nice to have someone else cook for you too. <laughs> My favorite thing in Costa Rica is the mango. The fruit is amazing. It's from heaven, it's so good. There's a lot of um, large supermarkets. and There are restaurants that serve hamburgers and fries. You can get you know, your Hershey's bar or whatever you're craving. You'll, you'll never be without a store or a restaurant to eat at or a, an internet cafe. Some of them are open 24 hours. There's a whole team of our staff, many of them who have been here over 15 years. I think the staff here are incredible. I think we are so lucky to have teachers with such open minds. Tube down the Amazon River, that was really fun. In talking about the global economy, we take them to a banana plantation. So the bananas they've been eating at home all their life of dull bananas, all of a sudden a whole new meaning and understanding of how that banana got to their, their kitchen table and what the implications of that are. And it's so much more interesting and intense to see that in person than to read about it on a piece of paper. As a parent, <laughs> you just need to let your child experience it and then you'll see how much they grow like exponentially and how much they will learn and really just change as a global citizen.